Hello friends, welcome to my another video tutorial on uh, programming questions for placement preparation. And in this particular video, I am going to discuss one problem taken from lead code. And the problem is such a beautiful problem which we face in real life also many times. Okay, so let us try to understand the problem. The title is minimum index sum of two lists. Okay, what the problem says, suppose Andy and Doris want to choose a restaurant for dinner and they both have a list of favorite restaurants represented by strings. You need to help them to find out their common interest with the least least index sum. This is very important. Least list index sum. If there is a choice tie between answers, output all of them with no order requirement. Okay, that means if there is a uh, cho uh, choice type that means if the particular list list index is appearing multiple times then you have to return all those restaurants okay but in that case you no need to follow, follow any particular order you could assume there always exists an answer suppose you consider the best case one uh, suppose these are the uh, the names of the restaurants offered by andy okay and these are the names of the restaurants offered by Doris. And if you see, Shogun is here appearing in the first index. And if you consider the uh, second uh, string array, you will find, find Shogun here. Okay. So this 0 plus here, this is first one, uh, that is 0, 1, 2, 3. So 3, 0 plus 3. So Shogun is common and the index sum is 3. But rather anything, if you consider basically there is no common element at all for rest. Like KFC, Burger King, all the, these things are present in the first string array. It is not present in the second string array. So only one choice, no doubt, this is Shogun. And explanation is the only restaurant there both uh, common in the two string array is Shogun. Okay. If you consider the example 2, see here this is the first uh, string array of favorite restaurants offered by Andy and this is for Doris and if you consider there now in this particular test case there are multiple common elements like Shogun is common in both the uh, string array. Similarly Burger King is also present. Similarly KFC is also present. Now which one has to be returned? See Shogun here appearing in first index that is 0 and here in the second index that is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 okay burger king here 0 1 2 so 2 plus 0 1 2 2 plus 2 4 so it is higher no need to return kfc here it is appearing 0 1 2 3 and here it is 0 so 3 plus 0 is 3 so minimum is so good so output has to be so good the restaurant they both like and have the least index uh, sum is so good with index sum 1 that is 0 plus 1 right because in the first array string array so shogun is appearing in the first index and in the second array there is favorite restaurants of what is the name doris it is appearing in the uh, index position 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so minimum 1 is 1 only so shogun has to be returned okay so this is what we have to do uh, try to think about one algorithm which can which can be used to solve this particular problem. Use that algorithm. Uh, uh, implement that in e any of your favorable language, whether that may be Java, C, C++, Python, whatever. Implement that in your favorable language in uh, in offline compiler, whether that may be Eclipse or NetBeans or any online co compiler, and check or verify whether th that is giving correct output or not. If it is not giving correct output, no need to worry. Here I am explaining. Okay, so here are some note points are given. The length of both the lists are ranging from 1 to 1000. The length of the strings are uh, of both the lists are ranging from 1 to 30. The index starting from 0 to the uh, length of the list minus 1. As we all know, in Java, it is a zero index notation like the in case of uh, that is in case of java the array index starts from zero it is not like matlab in matlab array index start from one that is high level language you know right and no duplicate is present in both the list all right so let me discuss the algorithm what i will do very simple i will get two array list one will store the in common index sum of the two array and another one will store the common string okay 
and then we will uh, find the common uh, list that is list list index sum and the list list index sum is appearing for corresponding string which is common in between these two uh, string array that one we are going to print see if you observe the code you will find it very easy so class solution solution is our class name and public string string array has to be the return type and then find restaurant is the function name string list one is the uh, first uh, favorite restaurant list offered by candy is passed and then the second uh, argument is list two which is uh, which consists of the favorite list of doris okay we have to find the minimum list uh, list index okay that is common restaurant in between these two string so we have created two array list one is of integer type and another one is of string type the integer type is used to store the uh, sum that is index sum uh, of the corresponding string which is common in between list 1 and list 2 and this string array list is used to store common string or common restaurant names of the two uh, string array list 1 and list 2 so here is the simple code for int i equal to 0 i less than list 1 dot length i plus plus so basically i am traversing in my first list 1 or the favorite restaurant names offered by andy and I, I am finding whether that is present in the uh, favorite uh, restaurant list offered by Doris or not. That is second list, that is list 2. So for in j equal to 0, j less than list 2 dot length j plus plus. If list 1 of i, ith index uh, element com dot compared to list 2 of j equal to equal to 0, that means those two are same only. So we are adding those two index 10 pickle to i plus j temp here one empty variable of integer data type i have initialized here so temp equal to i plus j and a dot add temp and p dot add list one i basically the temp that is addition of two index i am storing in a array list and the common string element i am storing in b array list and temp equal to zero i am uh, in is again in uh, defining temp as zero for the next iteration of the for loop right and after that i have to give the output corresponding to list list index sum that is minimum list index sum so that i am finding the minimum using collections dot mean operator mean function which is very helpful instead of writing the uh, code uh, separate code for finding the minimum in an array list you can directly use this particular function inbuilt function present in java int g equal to collections dot mean a and then we will find uh, where this particular g is appearing so here we are defining one string array list to store those string only which is corresponding to this particular minimum uh, integer g so for int i equal to 0 i less than a dot size i plus plus what is a dot size i plus plus a is basically our array list which is storing the uh, list index sum of in between these two string array which we have passed through our function so for int i equal to 0 i less than a dot size i plus plus if a dot i a dot get of i equal to equal to g that means that that uh, integer is corresponding to the minimum one then we are going to store the corresponding string element in this kl array list which we created here so kl dot add b dot get of i what is b b is the array list which is storing all the strings which are common in between the uh, the list 1 and list 2 or the favorite restaurant list of uh, Andy and Doris okay so that's what so after traversing uh, using this particular for loop we will get the uh, common interest with list list index sum or with minimum list index sum and then we have to convert that string array list to what to string array because we have to return one string array right so that string mk equal to new string kl dot size and then i am converting uh, the array list to string using simple traversal using one for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than kl dot size i plus plus mk of i equal to kl dot get of i return mk and that's all so let me show you the submit let me submit that and show you whether the code is accepted or not see here it is accepted 
a few seconds ago and service is accepted right so this type of problems are very very important for different service and product company based placement process whether you are considering amazon or uh, uh, maybe infosys power programmer or tcs digital or tcs ninja or capgemini differential package or bank of america placement process or bank of singapore placement process whatever okay practice this kind of problems so that you can solve harder problem than this you can optimize the code further try to think about one algorithm which can be used to optimize this particular question implement that if it works don't forget to comment in the comment section thank you for watching and uh, for you i am going to post the same code in the comment section if you want you can check that and for more practice problems for the uh, programming part in the placement process please check the link given in the description i have already created one separate playlist for the different uh, placement interview questions uh, frequently appears in different service and product company based placement process okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching and for more videos please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you